never seen a video with more dislikes in my whole life. This is almost a 89% dislike ratio. Why Wuthering Waves will flop. What could this dude have possibly said? I think Wuthering Waves will flop. Okay. Now, hear me out. I Ooh, they oh, look yeah. kind of cool, but but hear me out. I oh, got yeah. some points. Just, uh -huh. just let me cook. A big reason why I yeah. think Wuthering Waves will flop is because it is a direct one-to-one -to, -one to Genshin. Why? Well, I think. Okay, a direct one-to-one -to, -one to Genshin is insane. <laughs> okay, I will say a direct one-to-one -to, -one to Genshin. Okay, let's, let's strike one, buddy. Let's strike one here. Let's let's go ahead and pull it up. All right, strike. All right, we are currently. At strike one. All right, let's see how far we get, man. That's insane. Uh, no, it's not. Uh, the combat's way more complex, and we actually have already have implicated there will be in game this game as well, or end game as well. I think if you can't even take care of the small things or the weak things in your game, how can I expect you in the long run uh -huh. of the game to fix the big things? Let's okay. even talk Genshin 1.0. Sure. When Genshin dropped, there was a lot of issues. They never fixed them. And look where it's at now. True. Bringing it back to a one-to-one -to -one to Genshin, I mean, it's so bad that literally they use the same text. Now, we're not talking about natural innovation. It's different. I actually wish they did use the same text because right now they're using the same font as Tower of Fantasy, which I really don't like, but the, already that's the same font. Also, the reason why it's not a direct one-to-one -to -one, uh, as Genshin is due to the fact that when Wuthering Ways was told that something sucked for their games, they rewrote 90% of their story. And where we go, oh, let's copy this game and make it better. No, this game literally just took the Genshin template uh -huh. and copied and pasted turned down the saturation we'll get to that in a second now we can address the elephant in the room okay. of course the combat is better the echoes are cool and the Good. combat is better but how fucking long is that going to take until we get tired of this shit? this is the problem with gotcha players we just keep going in the same fucking loop and keep getting tricked to the same fucking shit over and over and over and over again it gives me tire fantasy vibes i think people are just operating off hype right now and they just await. Uh, nah, it's not Tower of Fantasy vibes because the, a lot of the reason why Tower of Fantasy flopped was due to bad servers and bugs. But since this game is actually the same genre as Genshin Impact, a, a lot of the server issues, that all the server issues will not exist. For a main game to play, because uh -huh. there isn't really a big gotcha main game, unless you still play Genshin. Remember when Tower of Fantasy dropped, everyone called that a Genshin killer. And I'll be honest, Tower of Fantasy was very- Well, the reason why they called it the Genshin killer was majority for clickbait. A lot of people just didn't believe that shit at all. I mean, it was a completely different genre, right? This point is always brought up and it's always such a terrible take because Tower of Fantasy could have never competed with Genshin back in that way because they weren't the same genre, right? Like, like it, it makes sense. Like, like the Banjo-Kazooie game wouldn't get killed by the Jack and Daxter MMO. Like it just makes no Sounds very fun for the first month. But after the first month, you start to realize the, the gameplay loop. And you're like, eh, this, eh, I don't know. And I do think Tower Fantasy had good aspects, but it just wasn't ex executed very well. Now you're like, okay, why are you? I actually cannot think of a single positive for Tower of Fantasy at all. It was actually that bad. Yapping. What are you talking about? Okay, of course. Yes, it's a copy. Like it was of actually that bad. Uh, the reason why I think this is a problem is because I feel like if they can't- Besides how good the water looked, the water was insane. But other than that, yeah, I don't think there was anything. Even take this template of Genshin and make it 10X better or 2X, let's 1.X better. Then what are you even doing? I feel like they don't have a future plan to make this game its own thing. They say, oh, let's make Genshin, but with better combat. That's not a fucking enough. It's not enough. Well, actually it kinda is enough. Because that's all the players really want is just Genshin with good combat that you actually get to do. So I actually do think it is enough. I want a fresh game that's, that brings something new. I'll give you an example. Let's take FPSs and Battle Royales. When Fortnite dropped, it said, okay, how can we make an FPS of Battle Royale, but make it way better? Oh, well, I hate getting shot in the fucking back in PUBG. So let's add fucking walls. And guess what? It became the most successful game ever. Genshin, it came into the gotcha space and said, hmm, how about we actually just try to make a good game? Let's make a game where instead of you getting a 2D fucking card of a character and you just get the fucking look at the stats, right? Or you get to see a side scroller version of it. Let's make a 3D game where you can actually see the abilities. You can see the 3D model and the beauty of the world. No, what Genshin said was, man, Breath of the Wild's doing good. Yeah, I'm gonna need me some of that. And guess what? It became one of the most successful games ever. This shit, uh -huh. it's literally like, oh, let's do what Genshin does, but let's just add extra animations. Oh, and Wait, that is literal. Wait, hold up. You literally just said Fortnite was innovative. 
for adding in walls. So how is, how, how is Wuthering Waves not innovative for adding in actually good combat? That's a strike, buddy. That's strike two, buddy. That's strike two. The hypocrisy here makes no sense. That makes no sense. Also, let's turn down the saturation to be edgy. Fuck that. I'm sorry, but I, I don't I don't see it becoming its own thing. I think what Man, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked that this is the guy that doesn't like saturation. The dude is in a completely blue room and waves will be the little brother, the shadow of Genshin forever. And that's why I think it will flop ultimately. It still looks a little dull. Now I'll prove to you what I mean. So let's go up okay. into the uh, Adobe's and let's look at this photo. So we have this photo. Uh, oh, <clears throat> oh, this is what the game looks like right now. Like uh, literally right now in this beta. Now I am going to put on a brightness and contrast at a 23 uh, core games. You need listen up. You need to be taking these notes here uh, in okay. a uh, 27 contrast. We're going to pop that on and you'll see the difference. It's not a huge difference, but it's it, it makes a big difference in the end. So let's turn it on turn it off turn it on turn it off one clearly looks better and is more vibrant now i you know what i'm gonna turn the saturation up now a lot of people say oh well, well they uh, they made the game a lot more saturated no they fucking didn't what i have the saturation at 43 plus let's give a point plus 43 that's a lot of fucking saturation if you use photoshop before that's a fuck ton of saturation that will fuck your photo up i'm gonna turn it on and you're gonna see the difference Wow, look at how that pops. Now you might say that's a little too much, but somewhere in there, but look at the difference when I turn it off and on. Look at that. I I think, and I'm gonna be real, I think that's a fair take. I think the game could look a little bit more saturated. And I know people will say it's supposed to be apocalyptic. Okay, sure. Just make apocalyptic zones and then make fun zones. Don't make everything a shade of gray. I think things are fine for making it a little, a pop a little bit more. I think that's fine. It's a big ass fucking difference. They need to fix this 100%. That's the easy fix, but I'm not done yet. Um, Let's try another photo. So we're going to do this one. This is the like grayest area of the map. I'm going to do okay. the same thing. This is how it looks right now in uh, this CPT2 or uh, Beta 2, whatever. You turn it on. Looks way better. Instantly makes the game way more beautiful. I, I, think I, I think the game does look. Let me we'll play it. Change the it. art in the rocks and change it. Like the landscaping is nice. But other than that, eh, no, no. Okay, so off on. You know, I actually think he has a pretty fair point, Loki. For me. For me. I can't speak for you, but I love oversaturated games. Off on. That's a big now would it would it fit the environment and the story? I don't really I don't really know. But I do think it looks pretty nice. Fucking difference. You don't have but eyes. It might be too much for you. I'm talking about, but you should be able to see this difference, okay? A fucking forty plus forty three in the second. Now I believe people who use NVIDIA are gonna be able to add in filters themselves to their gameplay to make it pop more. Which is why I'm really not worried about this issue, because I am going to put an overlay on it immediately. Like I'm gonna give it dynamic vibrance immediately and then my gameplay will look better than everybody else's and that's pretty much all i care about saturation so the story a lot of people are copium like oh my fucking god like it's gonna get better bro we said that in point in, in 1.0 of genshin because that's what made me play the game i was like wow like the the, the three-headed water dragon and all that stuff I'm like oh this this game's gonna get so good and, bro that fight was so bad it was insane and it fucking didn't I think this game is the same thing. If they can't even innovate the gameplay itself, like the game itself, what the fuck makes you think they're gonna innovate the dialogue, innovate the story? I mean, they already got battle passes and shit. We'll get into that. But I also feel like the story will not improve. It's boring. The dialogue is too fucking long. And here, let me, let's see if I can pull this up. And they better hope I didn't get the dialogue. So look, let's pull up this dialogue. And look, okay. we can do the filter on the dialogue too. Look at that. Okay, look I will that. say the filter on the dialogue looks terrible. That difference. That's yeah, you terrible. can kind of go in between. But look, here's what you do. Okay, miho yo. I mean, fuck. Uh, Kuro game. See, I, I, I thought this was a fucking Genshin screenshot. The problem with Genshin and pretty much every gotcha's dialogue is look at this small ass fucking two sentence little area here. What is this sure. fucking anime? Bro, make this shit bigger. I don't want to be clicking 30. Nah, you really don't need to make it bigger at all. Yeah, you don't, you do, you don't need to do that. It's a terrible take. Two fucking times on my F and space key in my fucking mouse button to get through this dialogue. This is what you do. Let's just put some text here, okay? We're just gonna okay. type stuff in. Hopefully it catches it and it's not catching it. Okay, well, uh -huh. I'm gonna just edit that out so it looks like I knew what I was talking about. We're gonna just copy this uh -huh. a few times. 
instead of making this small ass text, how about you just make a fucking paragraph? So the people that want to read that shit can sit there and waste their fucking breath in life. And nah, because it doesn't, it doesn't pace better. It doesn't pace well, it doesn't pace well. People aren't gonna read when they see that massive wall of text there immediately. They wanna break it down bit by bit. And also when you click, then it'll transition them to how they're going to deliver that dialogue or what shot they wanna do, right? So the reason why they need to do it bit by bit is so that way in case there is a cutscene or an animation difference, uh, they'll know when to click for, for it to cue. And I power reading that bullshit. I don't wanna read this shit. And also, you... also, if they were just to read it all at the same time in a row, then that would also block the animations and it would block the screen so it wouldn't look as good. Real, no one cares about these NPCs anyway. Fuck them. Boom. Fix the game. I instantly made the game more bearable. This, my friends, is how it should look from now on. Now you're like, oh, that's stupid. <laughs> yeah, you say it's stupid until you gotta sit through an hour of clicking through text. Fuck that. What you need to do is make the dialogue- You can just press the skip button and your entire point becomes moot. A little bit longer so the story and listening to these dumb ass side stories were a little bit more bearable. <laughs> the world and this is my problem with a lot of these games and i think genshin did an okay job with this but the world feels empty i feel like i'm just in a literal sandbox and I'm that is every open world game of all time i will agree with this point for sure but every open world game feels empty that's why i don't give a about open world games anymore i don't i don't desire open world games because they all feel empty I'm just there, it's just like, oh yeah, just get these chests run around. I wanna feel like the world actually is alive. For example, you play Honkai Star Rail, although you know it's a game, you know- It's not open world. Oh, there are NPCs, there are people walking around, you feel like the city is alive. Now, I understand that the game is a lot smaller, the worlds are a lot smaller, but at the same time, it's like, bro, put some fucking work in. I wanna see people walking around. Most, but not all, sure, that's fair. Let me that. Every open world gotcha game feels empty. I wanna see a bunch of interaction going on because that was makes you like immersive. And I'll be real, you say Elden Ring feels full, and I'll agree, Elden Ring has a lot, but you can't deny the fact that sometimes if you did not have that mount, you would be miserable, right? Because there are a lot of big empty spaces. There really is. And they and they keep those by design for like very good, like, uh, you know, views. But there, but there are a lot of times in Elder Ring where you're just simply running for like two minutes in a direction, right? In the game. <laughs> Pity, we're gonna talk about the banners and the pity. People have copium over the pity system. They, oh my God, the pity system, like it's a little bit better than Genshin's, it's a little bit better than Hawkeye's. Oh my God, they're, what? Anytime you spend money, you lose. Every pity system is garbage because it's making you spend money. The only- Yeah, I feel like if you just give, if you just make a, well, if the gliding system was good and wuthering waves in Genshin, the world would feel a lot better or if there was a mount system to move around faster, right? Like Elden Ring was obviously designed for horseback. But I feel like if there was a quicker way to move for Weathering Ways and Gadget, it would feel a lot better. The only pity system that wouldn't be bad is if it gave you something for free. I'm sorry, but every pity system is ga garbage. Every gotcha games system and monetization is garbage. It's predatory. That's just how it fucking is. Yeah, instead of spending three hundred dollars, we only have to spend two fifty to get a character. Like, get the get out of here. Now, on top of that, the animation. Okay, I will agree. Gotcha games are predatory. Uh, One million percent. However, I feel like Hawkeye Star Rail did a pretty good job with uh, their game's pity system. Just due to the fact by the overabundance of gems and currency you get, I've been able to get everything I've wanted, personally. I felt pretty much zero disappointment. I've still not even spent a dime. Now I will in 2.1 because I want to get everything. But I also, and this is another hot take, I actually like Nikkei's pity system as well, personally. Because Nikkei's rates are so high, I don't know. I felt pretty good about Nikkei's. And also, you know what game I feel really good about? Probably one of the best systems I've ever seen. Cookie Run Kingdom, bro. Cookie Run Kingdom. It's insane. The rates are great. You actually feel special when you get a legendary. It's just nuts. Like, and you get so much free currency. It's insane. I love Cookie Run. For when you pull, it's probably the most garbage animation I've seen in any fucking game. So let me show you this. So look at this. It comes out the water. Weren't you saying you did 400 summons and didn't get shit? No. I did 400 summons and I thought I didn't get shit. But when upon further consideration, I did. Uh, I got a bunch of good units that were four stars as well as I got pity things to get other free four stars that I wanted. And uh, in Cookie Run Kingdom, the legendaries and the four stars are actually quite balanced. So it's actually fine. 
and it just changes color. Are you fucking serious? Oh, wow, the clouds split. Bitch, I could go outside and see that shit right now. Like, bro, give me some scientific, fucking unworldly, paranormal fucking animations. I believe in if you complain about something, you should also give a solution. So this is how you True. fix this, Career Games, if you're watching this. So when you pull and this thing comes out. Now, I will say, I will say, I will say, Kuro Games is doing a great job with the weapon system, and I think we should acknowledge that. Water. <sighs> Let this go on for like another two seconds because this is like some little thing in the sky. It shouldn't change color. It should be gray the whole time. Now, when the clouds split, something should come out of the clouds. A big ass dragon, a god, something should come out of the clouds with a fucking large ass god bat, a punch or a fist, something, a kick and smack the fuck out of this thing that's going in the sky. And as it hits it, it should change color. That will be one of the best animations ever. Imagine that my last 50 50. Oh my God, right? You pull. The clouds open up, a fucking god, a god comes out and just imagine you're free to play and you got 10 pools left and it's just- Dude, I'll be real. I actually like this idea. Do I have any issue with the someone animation right now? Not, not really, not really. However, you know what game has an incredible gotcha summoning system? Look at this animation. Cookie Run Kingdom. Two guys pop up, a witch comes out, kawaii, love in the mix, throw a dough, roll it out, God comes, cookie stamp, you slam it, breaks the ground, sparkles, and you're in space, space cookie, close the oven, open oven, cookie time, baby, it's cookie time, space cookie comes out of the oven, dialogue option. The ocean is forever. All of a sudden, you're in the sea. Why am I here? You see this beautiful cookie maiden, but she's cracking. One flows and is now liquid, and you summon the god of the sea. <laughs> cookie Ron Kingdom. Cookie Ron Kingdom. Say it with me, guys. Cookie Ron Kingdom. Based. Cookie Run Kingdom, Pog. It's your favorite character mm. in the entire game. And you're like, oh my God, okay, I gotta pull. You pull and yeah. that shit just instantly, it just instantly goes gray. That was no experience. Like this shit is way too sh You know what it needs to be? For the five-star animation, if you pull a character, the clouds should be their ass coming through the clouds them spreading their asshole. And then a 10 minute, 10 minute video of you just the new character before they join your team like that would be insane short it's not interesting enough they can fix this so i'm not gonna get on them too much but yeah. you should get on them so they actually fucking change it and the worst part about this is this is afterwards like watch this shit. like <laughs> like <laughs> Like, bro, this shit is whack. Like, what is this? They just splatting on the screen. Like, stop. Redo. It is what it is. Now, actually, I actually I actually think that it's fine because the animation when you pull the characters are so good. You like these animations. These are little cute little yeah. animations here. And of course, they got to have. Show you. Why little, you show the worst one? Little child characters in the game, of course. Why you got to show the worst one? I like the 3D aspect because most games, they just do the 2D like PNG. I like it that it's like 3D, so I like that part, but they need to fix this beginning part. You know what? Let, let, let me show you exactly what this game is. This okay. is all they did. They just took this, all right, they took Genshin and they said, you know what? Let's go ahead and we're just going to yep. zoom in. Let's just take away this hair and maybe I'll fast forward. Maybe I'll make you watch me do this whole thing. Who uh -huh. knows? You'll just have to watch the video to see. Okay. Oh yeah, let's just erase all this, all this goodiness here. Uh, yeah, right. we're just, I'm gonna give them a, a new ear here. They went ahead and uh, just plap one of these on all of their fucking characters. And this is pretty much Wuthering Waves. This is Wuthering Waves, boys and gentlemen. Is it? And I said boys and peoples. There we go. And, is it? and that's Wuthering Waves. That's literally what they did. For Zhao, it's more like they slapped on the Giga Chad filter and said, here's Gian, bro. Now what I wanna do is just go through some quick points because I feel like they don't need a big explanation or example. I just wanna kinda of get them out there. So we're gonna start with the alt animation. Okay. I think the alt animations are super anticlimactic. Okay. It's just like you pump it and it just feels like the game is like, all right, okay, go. Yeah, go fight. That's it. That's all you get. Just go. F That's what it feels like. I wanna feel like a god. I wanna feel all powerful when I- Okay, well, all right, so you can say you want to feel like a god, but it's an open world gacha game. 
Do you know how hard it would be to balance out a welt black hole alt swallowing the planet in the middle of a open world gacha game? Uh, survive or be destroyed, there is no other choice, but it would be kind of hard, man. Hit that alt animation, I want effects. I want, I want the planet to split in half. The whole world to change, I want the sky to split, everything, okay? Now I feel like other games, they get that, especially Honkai. I think Honkai, and I know it's a turn-based game. When you alt, it's a crazy animation. It feels like an alt. It feels spectacular. It's amazing. But in this game, it's just like a... Well, that's because in turn-based RPG, you can make the moves look like anything you want. Because it is turn-based. That's the only reason is because it's turn-based. Okay? Like, in open world, you, the alt has to make sense for the world because you have to interact with it. You can't make the planet get eaten by a black hole because, well, then you're gonna fall through. It zooms in on the character like, huh? And then it's like, all right, go fight. I don't like that. I think they need to fix that. I'm gonna be real. I think a lot of the echo animations feel heavier and sometimes look better than some of the character animations. I'll just be honest. I'll just gotta say that. And that's a good thing. I think some of the echoes are, they're, fighting and combat animations are more well-designed than some of the characters. I'll say some, not all. And speaking of just the animations themselves, I think some of the characters kind of share the same effects. And I'll show you what I mean, where every effect kind of looks like the, the characters of sword character. Like, yes, there are characters in the game that have different animations, but a lot of them share like the same, they just kind of look the same. If you just walk past and watch someone play the game, you wouldn't really be able to tell besides like the colors what character was what is that a huge deal for me I that's true if you make everything black and white and speed it up by 5x <laughs> everything would look the same you're right man that's a great that's a great point i feel like when i get a new character i want to uh -huh. feel like i'm using a new character using a new weapon except right. that's it on that point let's move on to the next one holy that's a bro that's not it bro what are you talking about he makes a point cooks it about 10 percent, and then throws away, throws it away without backing anything of what he is saying he like turns on the burner forgets to put on the pan and then walks away i don't think hard equals good i think there needs to be experience alongside that content or hardcore content you know what's crazy he says these comments that are like true right like, guys, I think robbery is bad. So here's the thing. I bought these Jolly Ranchers, and that's my point. It's like he says something that's true, says something that's completely unrelated, acts like he got a dunk, and then goes to the next cutscene. It's like, bro, bro, what are you, what are you talking about? Content, because let's be real. The experience is what makes the game memorable. Not just, oh yeah, I fought 10 monsters that took me an hour to, to beat. No, there needs to be experience, right? Sure, but I will say, when you think of an Elden Ring boss, what boss do you think of? Give me a random boss. Millennia, 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 Radon, Millennia, Radon, Radon, Millennia, Radon. You wanna know why you remember Millennia and Radon? Because they were hard fights. Because they were hard and you felt something once you overcame it. Right, there needs to be a journey there. And I think when when you when you think of when you think of a fight in Monster Hunter World, what fight do you think of? Uh, what, what which one? Ner Gigante. Ner Gigante. Rathalos. Basil Goose. And why do you remember those fights? Because they're hard. And also because they're very well designed. Now I will agree. A fight just being a hard isn't good enough. Howsoever, I think the mob designs and the level of difficulty for Weather Wave so far is pretty well balanced. I think that's the casual side of the game. So I think they're catering way too hard to hardcore players right now. They're kind of marketing this as like, oh, hey, look, the game's hard. But it's like, bro, the reason why even hardcore players even played Genshin, you know, back when it dropped is because there was an experience. It felt like something, you know, when you dropped in, you picked Paimon out the water and you went ahead and went through the woods. You see Amber, she comes out doing backflips and then you see this Femboy Venti. It's like, why is there a Femboy in the woods with a dragon? Okay, now I got to find out more, you know, and it just was exciting. And then you go into to Monstat, you see, you know, Timmy, you see all these people. And it's like, wow, it's an experience. It feels like a world. The casuals will make or break this game. So first of all, I understand what he's saying, 
But he's acting as if Wuthering Waves did not have that experience. Like, for Wuthering Waves, you drop in, you're meeting by these two beautiful women, and then you see this cliff of the whole world in front of you, and right underneath it, you see Crownless, this giant demon. And what you realize is, this world is plagued, and why are all of these demons here? Like I said earlier, like I said earlier with the animations, I think there is no real hit satisfaction. I don't feel the weight. This is a good point. I wasn't aware of this until I uh, further consulted other content creators. I feel like the hit satisfaction could be a little bit better. Of a lot of hits. Some, yes, but that's the problem. I shouldn't say some. Every single animation needs to crack, okay? It needs to go crazy. Sure. That's it. The world feels empty. You already I don't this. know what it is about it, but it just feels empty. It feels like there's just a big map. And bro, bro forgot he already said this. It doesn't, the world doesn't feel alive. Enemies don't feel alive. It seems like they just place the enemy here. It's like, hey, you like hard content? Go fight. I want a better experience than that. The best way I can explain this is that in Genshin, there's hilly chore. Those are like the main enemy that you fight. There are other enemies, but that's the main enemy. I think this- So what you're saying is we need more hill churls. Game needs a main enemy around the world that you fight to make it feel more alive. You know, there were settlements. You see them like walking around, you know, taking stuff back to the settlement. You just go ahead and just, you pretty much just kill everybody in the camp. I think this game needs that livelihood in the world. So it feels more alive and, and you actually feel like you're operating in a world, right? I understand why he's saying you need mob familiarity, and I think that's fine to ask for, but for a game where the whole system is built around having different mobs to kill so you can have echoes, I do think the mobs will be memorable due to the fact that you'll be able to use and utilize them each time that you kill them. So you'll actually become more familiar with a more diverse pool of mobs due to the fact that they'll stick around longer, even past combat with them rather than just a sandbox to go fight this level 110 boss or this weird stork or bear. The glider is too slow. True! True, dude, true! Speed it up. Yep, true. This one is for the hardcore players. So the lock on, it's like my camera's flopping and blopping and plopping everywhere. It's like, can you just, can we just lock it on? So it just sticks yep. on the character and it's just moving. It's like a chicken when you hold it and it, it does, we need that action, okay? I wanna yep. see all that goody goodness. So you yep. need to lock the camera so it's stable so we can, so okay. we can observe. This is fair, this is fair. If you're gonna copy Genshin, why yep. you gotta copy the story tactics? What is with the stories in this bloated dialogue and this boring side quest. I am tired of seeing NPC. Welcome to Gotcha Games. Woo! The story always sucks and people will always lie and say it's good. Side quest. Can we get side quests with, with like actual characters? And you know, what? I'll probably make a video on what I want out of that. You can't have boring quests in the game. That is the game. It's playing a side quest, True. the content. It can't True. be boring. My last Fair hot point. point is the story needs more Avenger style storytelling, more pizzazz, dumbed down for casuals, easy to understand. I think this game needs that. So people understand the story, it's easy to digest. Even if you skip the story, you should know what's going on. I, I like that take a lot. I do encourage where even if I'm skipping what's happening in the game, I still want to know what's happening in the game to a degree. Right, to a degree, I think that's fair to ask for. Skip, probably, I skip all the dialogue of every game and I know the characters' names, I know what's going on. Honkai, I pretty much skipped every single thing, but I know everything that's going on. I know all the- God, bro, Sparkle is so fun. Characters' names, I know where they're from, all of that. The story needs to be dumbed down. It's, it's, it's okay, but I'm just saying going forward in 1.1.2 when the game drops, I think they need to make sure that we have arcs. Oops, we need like a main villain for this arc and then we fight that villain and you just repeat, rinse and repeat. And we know this works because anime does this. We need these enemies to be linked to the story in my opinion, but that's more yeah. on another topic. So to conclude this, do I think this game will actually flop? Fuck yes, I think. <laughs> oh man, this guy's based. I think if they don't make these changes, there is no reason for anyone to switch over. Besides the hardcore players using this as content, they use it up and then they wait three, 
months for the next patch and then the game is dead for three months probably not three months maybe two months or so or 40 days wherever the gotcha cycle is but i feel Six like weeks, that is not a successful game. Game. i think as a gotcha game it'll be successful but in terms of being a big three or being better than genshin or genshin killer I don't think so. I just really. I, I think the game will be better than Genshin, but I don't think it'll get the viewership that Genshin Impact and uh, Genshin Impact has. And I think that's the metric that people will use to gauge its success. I don't even think it'll make more money than Genshin. I, I think it'll make less money. I think it'll have a half the viewership of that Genshin has after like two months or so. But yeah, I do think the game will generally be a better game, but I think it's going to be enjoyed by a more niche audience. And I will be that niche audience 1 million percent. You don't know, I think to me, that's a flop, especially when it's trying to compare itself to, oh, I'm a Genshin killer, it's a Genshin killer. Look, man, I'm sorry, but you ain't got it like that. If they if they make changes and they fix some of these things and this and, and when it drops, it's solid, the servers work, everything is going, I think, I think it has a chance of actually killing Genshin, I really do. But I really think they need to focus on that casual aspect but if it stays as is right now i think it's going to be just like tower of fantasy it's going to be good for a month maybe uh tower of fantasy was good for two days yeah it was two days it wasn't a couple months it was two days and then everyone stopped playing the servers crashed the hackers ruined the game it was terrible two months but after that, I think people were just like, oh yeah, it's just a game I'll play. And I tried to be as negative as possible in this video because this is a negative video, but I will probably make a video on the positives because there are a lot of positives to this game as well, which I think will help it succeed. But as far as being a Genshin killer, I, that's absolute fucking bullshit. I, I just don't see it. I just, I think people are on that copium. They're waiting for another Genshin, another big game. And this is not it. It's not innovative enough. Genshin, when it came out, it came into a gotcha space where all the games are fucking ass. And they said, all right, let's True. actually try to make a fucking game that's I mean, I will say, I am an enjoyer of a shitty mobile game. I really am. Ooh la la, Idol Adventure was fun. Arknights was fun. Summoner's War is fun. Epic Seven's fun. Uh, Skylanders Ring of Heroes is fun. Sinnoh Alice was fun. But it was definitely different. I, I don't want to say all gacha games are bad because there's something endearing and actually very charming about a shitty game. And uh, I don't know. I love games. But the game I love the most, Cookie! good and it succeeded they made billions and billions of fucking dollars um and now these games are trying to copy off kitchen but they haven't yep. caught lightning in a bottle because they are not fucking trying to innovate they're just saying oh let's copy this template so but yeah that's it that's the video right there so i'm gonna just end it i'm just you know what's crazy i love this video genuinely i loved this video even more so i loved this dude I think his delivery was funniest. I mean, 1 million percent, his takes were terrible. <laughs> but I find that shit charming. You know, other people, what they don't like, I love that shit in a person. This guy who said, I'm gonna go make an 18 minute video where I'm a complete dumbass the entire time. And you know what? I loved every second of it. Hey boys, I'm gonna go link his video. What I want. Uh, go give him a like and a sub, or man, if I can give him a dislike, there's already a million of them, who cares? Um, but yeah, I felt like this was a great video, me personally. And uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun watching it, and I look forward to hearing this guy's perspective more. But uh, yeah, do I think Wuthering Wave is gonna flop? No, absolutely not. Do I, do I think it's gonna beat Genshin or Honkai Star on success? No, but what I do know is it's gonna deliver a game that I'm going to like playing. And it's gonna have a smaller audience, it's gonna be a more niche audience, but they're going to cater to that audience and the people who do enjoy it are gonna be taken care of. And I think that's all that matters. That's just my opinion though. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.